Hey guys, Byron here. Okay, so in this video I'm going to just talk briefly about uh, how Google Authentication Key works and um, why you should use it and how you should use it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to actually download the Google Authentication uh, system from Google Play. So you'll go to a Google Play Store and then you will look for this over here, the Google Authenticator, and you're going to download this onto your phone. Okay, cool. So once it's downloaded onto your phone, you don't open it yet. The next thing you need to do is you need to create a key. To create the key, you go to your My Page over here. Go to My Page, and then uh, once that opens, I'll show you what to do next. Okay, once you're in My Page, you're going to click on Other. And you will see it will say here, yeah, Create Key, GA. GA means Google Authentication. So in this case, I've already created my key. So you just click on Create Key. It will pop up with a, a block over here where it will give you a key. And in my case, I'll show you what my key looks like so you get an idea what this key actually looks like. Um, there we go. So you see this number over here. This is what a Google Authentication key actually looks like. It's very important that you save this key. You don't want to lose this key because once you activate the Google Authentication key, if, if you ever need to access your account, you're going to need it. So yes, you're going to save it on your on your um, on your Google Authenticator, the one over here. I'll show you quickly. You're going to save it in here, but that's what's going to generate the PIN number. But you also need to save it in a safe place. Maybe write it down somewhere so that if you ever lose your phone and you need to access your Triple M account, you're going to need this key. Okay. So then once you've got the key, um, it'll say it'll it'll give you this over here. It'll say remove key, but we don't want to remove that. Then you're going to go into your Google Authenticator and you're going to set it up. So once you click on open, it's going to give you three options. The one option is going to be scan barcode and the second option is going to be uh, enter key. You're going to select enter key. It'll ask you for what is the name of your, um, of your account. You're going to put triple M just over here. You can see I put triple M and then it's also going to ask you uh, for the key. So the key that they're going to ask you for is the one that you generated. In my case, this is my key over here. That's that's the key you need to enter. So you enter it into this and you save it. Then what will happen is it will generate a key like this, a six-digit number, that this number changes every 30 seconds. All right, so what's the purpose of you actually having this key? Every time you log into your account, I'll give you an example. Because I log into my account from this PC all the time, what happens is it knows, it, it registers my IP address that this is where I've logged in. So I'll enter my username, enter my password, and it'll log me in, no problem. However, if I need to log into my account from a different location or a different PC, it'll automatically ask me for that key. So I will simply go to my phone. Um, once it asks me for that code, I will check what the co code is here. I will enter it on triple M. And then it'll let you into your into your profile. Okay, so very simple. So once you, once you try and access your profile from another PC, then what will happen is as soon as you go back to your normal PC that you currently use, it'll ask you for the key again. And that's as simple as it. So what the reason for the for using this type of key is to prevent your account from being hacked. So what the hackers do is they access your email, they reset your password. And then they log in and they load a GH on your account. This way they can't log into your account because you're the only one who has this actual key. I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions, feel free to contact me on, on Skype at Byron.Ditburner and I'll be more than willing to assist. Thank you very much. Cheers.